Gaining reputation with various factions has been a core part of World of Warcraft since the game launched in 34 BC. Now with so much time passed, some of the old factions are now almost entirely pointless. So sit back, relax and join me as we delve into the top 5 pointless reputations in World of Warcraft and we're going to rate how pointless they are out of 10. The Hydraxian Waterlords, a group of elementals that have made their home on the islands east of Ashara, sworn enemies of the fiery boy Ragnaros. These guys were historically servants of the old gods, serving them with undying loyalty. However, at some point they broke free of that control, or at least so we believe. This guy's ultimate goal was to go to a really stupid, very far away, pain in the ass to reach location and offer you absolutely nothing. As you'll see, this is a common theme of these pointless reputations. Once you get exalted with them, you'll likely find a mild sense of satisfaction with 10 achievement points if you're lucky, and if you are going for the 100 reputations at exalted, at least you're one rep closer to getting that. At least it's quite simple to get exalted reputation with the hydrated water butts. All you'll need to do is get around 90 runs of molten core under your belt, and there is some lovely loot for you to transmog available along the way, and you can also work on getting yourself a couple of legendaries if you're lucky whilst you do this. So with this said, we're going to award the Hydroponic Wetlands a pointless rating of Moist Socks out of 10. There was once a time back in Mists of Pandaria where our pesky little dragon friend offered the quest of a lifetime, a journey that would require us to become his best friend, and at the end of this journey, he would reward us with a lovely legendary cloak and some other goodies along the way. The cloaks were really cool, with some unique visual effects when their procs were triggered, but they were so cool that once Mr. Pandaria was over, Blizzard just threw them in the bin. Kind of making this whole reputation completely pointless. Now, there isn't even an achievement for getting this rep to Exalted. There's not even any gear that you can use for it from time walking, for example. You can't even do the questline anymore, even if you wanted to, knowing that there would be no reward. Honestly, this is kind of a shame because people would probably still do this questline even if it meant that they just collected the appearances of the clocks and then they could use the legendary clocks for time walking dungeons and raids, but never mind. This then unfortunately leads to the Black Prince's reputation getting the score of removed out of 10. With many diverse factions in World of Warcraft, of all of them, you wouldn't think that it would really matter to go and make best friends with a group of Centaur tucked away in the dusty wastes of Desolus, and that's because, well, it really doesn't matter. There are in fact two of these tribes that you can gain reputation with, the Gelkis clan and the Magrum clan. The Magrum clan undertook the lifelong pursuit for strength, not realising they could just simply go to the auction house and buy some strength gear and some potions and be done with it, but never mind. They see the other tribe, the Galkis clan, as nothing more than a nuisance. The Galkis clan, on the other hand, are a lot more civilised than the Magrum, and rather than depending on pure strength alone, they value their fighting spirit more and believe that Theradress will watch over them and keep them alive. They've got a firm grasp of the common tongue, which they use to send Theradress thank you notes for their protection. This hasn't been confirmed by Blizzard. Now the reputations for these guys have seen some changes over the years, but currently you can get exalted with these guys both at the same time. Once you get to exalted with them both, you can go home with empty bags because they offer absolutely nothing, gaining them a pointless rating of Elector of Lion Strength out of 10. So, assassins are cool, right? Imagine a guild of thieves and assassins with a secretive base tucked away in the mountains. So cool. But then imagine killing hundreds of mobs to get exalted with a faction, opening countless junk boxes filled with people's old pants and useless junk to turn in tons of emblems only to then be rewarded with absolutely nothing. Not cool. What the hell Ravenhold? The only lasting change for gaining reputation with this faction is that the guards will speak to you with more respect. Ah! Oh, it's just your face. How can I help you? Ah, a familiar face. Yeah, I still see that face in my nightmares. Yes. At least one good thing you can take away from this rep is that the rep does count towards the Insane in the Membrane achievement, which grants you the Insane title, but the relatively pointless, zero reward, grindy nature of this reputation earns it a Rouge out of 10, on the pointless scale. Now, I think that most people have a bit of a soft spot for this next faction. They're a tribe of upright bear people that wear little blankets to cover their meaty totem poles. You guessed it, the Timbermore Hold faction. But wait, I hear you say. You get something from this rep, <gasps> and you're absolutely right, you do. It's a toy, and to be honest, it's actually quite good. You can turn yourself into a furball for three minutes, but there's a catch. There's a one hour cooldown. Seriously, why? 
If it lasted longer and had less of a cooldown, it would be really worthwhile getting this toy and pretty nice to have. But the blizzard fun detector went off and it was alerted and it added this cooldown for no reason. But there's more, I hear you say. Oh, well there is, yes. You do also get access to their tunnels. No, not that kind of tunnel. Stop it. The tunnel that you can run through to get to Winter Spring because it is really handy. It's not like you can just fly over it these days. Oh, wait. Thankfully, this can be done quite quickly these days by completing a few quests and grinding out some mobs in Felwood, and can be even completed in around an hour if you're quick. So with these things in mind, I'm going to give Timbermore Hold a pointless rating of hiding your Felwood out of 10. So, to be honest, there could have been about 6 more reps on this list. A lot of them are quite pointless now, offering pretty much no reward or meaningless rewards, and things like really low quality transmogable items and other things that you don't really want to get, and that just aren't worth the time putting in. So comment down below which you think is the most pointless reputation, and if you have enjoyed the video, do leave it a little like, and consider subscribing for more videos like this and guides for World of Warcraft. Thanks very much guys, I've been LazyBeast, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.